What's poppin' everybody? Sable Final Four here. Hope you guys are excited as I am to see what Urshifu VMAX is capable of, the Rapid Strike one anyway. But both of them are very, very good in their own ways. They've got their perks and disadvantages. Now, my opponent says hello. I'll say hello back to him in a second. But let's see what we open up here. I got my Jirachis uh, and I've got two Remorades as well. I'm not going to bench the uh, brush one since we have the team up one opened up with that. I'll probably use quick ball to discard that guy But yeah, let me see what my opponent is running those far sleeves should give away a fire deck that's commonly the case, but not always and I even though I don't have a supporter of course with Jirachi I should be able to dig up something here uh, Quick ball is gonna get me a search as well so it's a it's a decent start, I guess. I got the rem rates ready to go, and if everything else failed, I could have just grabbed artillery with the incense. But anyway, my opponent mulliganed a bunch of times, so it doesn't matter. We got a bunch of free cards either way, and I'm gonna use this chance to search the Urshifu and quick ball number two. Let's get the second one as well. Why not? Makes sense. Get these guys out. Out and ready, and I'm going to uh, level ball. I mean, I guess get the other Remorade. Probably not gonna bench that down, but it's all we can search. I was fortunate enough to open up with the two Remorades, so I mean, the level balls aren't gonna be very useful now. And let's see, Jirachi, I've got the choice between. Scoop up a net tool scrapper and the Lana. We don't need that. Um, Crap. Probably should have uh, grabbed the scoop up net so I can switch. Uh, yeah, that was a misplay on my end. But anyway, maybe my opponent is going to play some tools down. I've got the tool scrapper ready. But uh, a nice little turn one. Attach. Got an energy attachment. We've got Urshifu, VMAX, and Octillery in hand. So I'll be able to evolve those on the next turn. If my opponent doesn't play a Marnie. And he played down his stadium too, the hearth. Grab fire energies with that. And uh, I know he has Magnolia in hand too, if he uses that. Uh, no welder. And since he is playing second, of course, you get that extra benefit of a Volcanion. Get to grab three energies. An amazing effect from the deck. Okay, and he keeps going. Quick ball, gonna search something else. Uh, that, uh,. Senti Scorch there. Should be a decent challenge for our deck. Once it gets going, it's going to do a lot of damage. But it's going to need to do some crazy numbers with this guy's 330 HP and the extra defense we get from Stone Energy. Even something like Senti Scorch VMAX is going to have a hard time KOing this guy after we start healing and shit. Alright, so here he goes. He attached his energies and now it's my turn. Time to get the turn on the heat and make some strong attacks here uh, evolve into the octillery and rapid strike search let me get well Karina makes the most sense get a supporter and damn it if only I just uh, yeah if only I grabbed the scoop up net that was a mistake Jirachi might be stuck there now if we don't see anything and let me get the other Urshifu VMAX. So now both of the dudes are out. We're good to go when it comes to our main attacker. Attach the Rapid Strike Energy. Uh, use actually his stadium to discard the Remorade. So now I'll get to draw extra cards with Karina. So that's good stuff. And fortunately I do see the scoop up net. So I guess my misplay didn't backfire too much. And he goes uh, well played. I mean I guess I was kind of lucky but... Yeah, well, well played, dude. Uh, now I get the first KO with our G Thrust attack, our Gale Thrust. And the first prize goes to me. These uh, regular basic legendary Pokemon should be easy KOs when you can do 150. So now the VMAX Senti Scorch is out. I mean, with three energies, that guy's already dangerous. I uh, guess he's not going to use Welder though. He had to use the Magnolia here. And Rare Candy too. 
yeah, didn't didn't mention that, but there was a Charmander there as well. So he's got the Charizard in here too. I mean, I guess he can attack with this guy, but he can dig with his uh, ability too. I guess you get to add cards that way from your deck to your hand. Um, yeah, 350. This Santa Scorch won't be easy to take down. But once we start sniping and just putting the hurt on all of his Pokemon on the bench, I mean, it, it's good stuff for sure. The damage is going to add up. And like I've said, it won't be very easy for this guy to get the KO, one hit KO, dare I say, on this guy, even if it's Santa Scorch VMAX. Uh, but it is going to get dangerous. You know, four energies now. If you use a Welder on the next turn, things could get dangerous. So now we're going to start using Malin Lana as per the strategy in this deck. Discard Magnolia and the Tool Scrapper. Man, why the fuck didn't I use that? Um, but I mean, we're probably going to have to make a couple of attacks on this guy anyway. Can't quite get like a two hit KO, even if I got rid of the charm. But yeah, uh... One step at a time, you know, I might make mistakes, but this isn't the type of deck that I use all the time. It's a new deck after all. But uh, the idea, I mean, it makes a lot of sense to a lot of people. You know, this guy hitting and switching, doing high damage for cheap energy, and you heal him up with Melon Lana. It makes a lot of sense. It's, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure this sort of tactic out. Plus, he also has this benefit of this snipe attack which we're going to start to make use of very shortly. I mean, those small Pokemon on the bench, they're going to be easy targets. I mean, that Jirachi is easily going to die. I can target down the Charizard too, soften it up. It's good stuff. Uh, he got rid of my Stadium for another Hearth, unfortunately. And you know what? I'm really feeling that you got to run at least three. Uh, I mean, we have other switching outlets, of course, but this Stadium is just too good. I mean, I guess if you, because Chaotic Swell is a popular stadium too, even if you have a bunch, you might not be able to utilize it. So, might as well not have dead cards in the deck. But, it's just very, very good getting that double sort of air balloon effect on all of your guys that are Rapid Strike. Right, right. Now, my opponent is going to go for Welder. And he's not messing around. He's putting all of the energies on this Senti Scorch. Goddamn. And it's a pretty scary combination, you know, with all those energies. Uh, once they start piling up, it could even get the one hit not god. Now, it's got 200 HP. So like I've said, we're not KOing this dude no matter what. So I think it's it's good that I didn't use the... Tool Scrapper, just to discard the Charm when it's going to be a 3 hit KO anyway. So, very, very high damage, man. But, couldn't get the KO still. And now, I mean, Rapid Strike Search. Let's see. I'm going to get my Stadium. And we don't have... We don't have a Healing Cart now. But I do have the regular Switch. So, going to go with Marnie. Minimize his hand. And uh, there we go. We get a Malin Lana for next turn. I just hope he doesn't pull or something. Because this guy, I mean, he is going to be pretty susceptible. But you know what? I think I'm just going to let him get sacrificed. And just target down Charizard. I mean, he's going to be able to get the KO. But then the other one is going to come in and finish the dude off. And kill the Charizard. Since the dude has all of his eggs on that basket, that Senti Scorch basket over there, once he's out, I don't think I'm going to worry too much. Uh, it's got seven fire energies. You know, he committed a lot of energies on it. So, I maybe you, I should have just tried to save the Urshifu. I could have just retreated. I've got the stadium out. But I decided to just, hey, go for the snipe. Start putting the real pressure now that we softened up, you know, his dudes, you do a bunch of snipes and you clean up the rest of the Pokemon. And this is why this guy is really broken. I mean, Mew is probably going to get popular if this guy becomes a threat. 
if he becomes popular. Okay. Now then, let's see what he's doing. I mean, he's got the Charizard ready, but he won't get to use it. He even has Salamence in his deck. What the hell? This guy has all the stuff. I'm surprised he didn't brick with this sort of uh, deck that he's running. Salamence VMAX, Sentiscourge, and the Charizard? Dude. Anyway. I mean, he seems like he knows what he's doing so far. So, it is what it is. I can't really talk shit. Because the danger is on. He did manage to do a lot of damage on my dude. So he decides to switch, save the Senti Scorch, but you're not really going to do shit if you don't have Mew. I'm still going to be able to kill him. So yeah, that could have been kind of dangerous though. So we need to see another energy. I don't want to grab the other Rapid Strike one, but we might have to with Octillery. Indeed, indeed. Let's see. Cynthia, Caitlyn, discard. Um, I guess throw. I'm not going to use the dude. And let me get back. Uh, Marnie, I suppose. I think I've got enough uh, Malalanas. And there's basic energy, so that's good enough. And Rapid Strike Search. What you got, Octillery? I mean, I don't have much left in the deck. We're probably going to have to use rod to recover the other duo but i think with this guy i should be able to do the job uh, once i ko the uh Santa scorch he's not going to have anything and then i'll be able to clean up the rest so there we go time for the gmax rapid flow and ko the charizard ko the Santa scorch four prizes for your ass and i mean all I got to do is just kill one more Pokemon, and it's our victory. So, yeah. Uh, let's hope I see, like, the boss's orders or something. No, but uh, we got the Ordinary Rod. Okay. Um, I'll recover the other guys, but we should get the job done with this guy. Um, Charizard, I'm not really afraid of this guy. Restaurant Charizard, even with the GX attack, he's not going to do much. And he won't even be able to get six energies on time anyway. I've got all these healing cards. Uh, he needs to kill this guy if he wants to win. Targeting down the small dudes isn't really going to do anything. Uh, needs to get three prizes. So I'm feeling very confident. I think I have this game in the bag. It's just the question of how long can he prolong his uh, defeat. But let's see what he does, how he navigates this situation. <sighs> Damn, talking so much. Right, so boss's orders. Target the Jirachi, trying to get me stuck, but that's not really a good idea. I mean, you put the Jirachi in the active position, you're giving me a chance to search. Plus, he must know that I've got all these switching cards. So let's use Stellar Wish. Like, look at all these switching cards. I'm spoiled for choice. Just gonna get the switch here. I've got the Malalanas. I have, uh, like, the Scoop Up Net switches. It's just, you're not really gonna do shit. And even gonna use the Skylight here. And... Yeah, let's get the Mumu Cheese. <laughs> use that. Give this guy a little bit of a dairy cheese to eat so now I'm close to full HP and yeah he's he's got no chance so let's get the other artillery with the artillery just cuz evolve into that guy too I guess if he does target artillery I've got another one and Gale Thrust very very simple just 150 in that range to get two hit KO'd and, uh, like, what are you going to do? Uh, you committed a fire energy on this fresh ramp too, so you got to attack with it. He can't really put any of these small dudes there as decoys. If you put Scent to Scorch, it's not really going to accomplish much. I mean, all I got to do is just attach the Rapid Strike energy and just finish him off. So Boss's orders insisting on getting me stuck. But no, I guess he's going to go for Outrage 
and kill the dude. And it goes GG. Uh, it was a pretty good GG. Yeah, should demonstrate the power of uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX for the people that don't think is all that. Um, so, GMAX Rapid Flow. We're going to finish this game in style. Kill the Tag Team GX and Jirachi as well. And I basically got like uh, eight prizes in this game or something. Yeah, eight, nine prizes or whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Subscribe to the channel uh, for more TCG matches with this deck. Look forward to a lot of them. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. What's up?